Yeah, let's get right into it. So when you're starting out in your ads manager, you're just going to head to adsmanager.facebook.com and you're going to hit the green create button over here. So what I'll show you first is what most of your competitors are doing. You might be doing this as well. And it might be the reason why you're getting a really high cost per lead. So first thing people usually do is they click leads over here and do manual leads campaign, click continue. And then when you actually get to the campaign setup, you know, you can call this whatever, right? Pressure washing ads, whatever you go to your ad set over here. This is where you do your targeting ad set number one. What most people do is they select messenger over here. Obviously you've got to select your page down here and it's pretty basic. Like they might have a budget of 15 bucks per day. They might run it for a week, not get any results and cut it off. Obviously they got to do their location. They take this out, put in their city, boom, whatever mile radius you're comfortable with. In this case, let's just leave it at 25 miles. Scroll down, put in your audience suggestion. Now, some people actually don't do this, but you have to, because you obviously do not want to target people who are age 18 years old. You're just going to be wasting your money if you do that. So you're going to select this. I usually do around 35 years old and I do this from 35 to 55, right? Placements, you can play around with it, but I usually let Facebook do its thing. Now what placements are is you can control where your ad is being shown. The advantage plus placements will put it on like the video feeds, the mobile feeds, the desktop feeds. But if you want to control that, just go down to manual. And if you're going to do manual, what I suggest doing is just unchecking all of these. And the only thing that you want to have turned on is just the Facebook feed. So you just turn all of this off. This is if you're running image ads. If you're doing video ads, I'd suggest sticking with advantage plus placements. But if you're just doing a before and after with an image, just keep it on Facebook feeds. Now these stories and reels, again, turn them off because you're doing photo ads. Turn all of this off. You just got to make sure everything is off before you continue. So as you can see, the only thing that's left is Facebook feed. If you have an Instagram account hooked up to your Facebook page, select this Instagram so you can put it on the Instagram feed as well. But in this case, let's say you don't just keep it on Facebook. Now you're going to go to the ads over here. Now, this is where I'm going to show you the mistake most people make. If you want some sort of inspiration for your Facebook ads, you can go to facebook.com slash ads library, and you can see what other people are running for Facebook ads right now. As you can see, all of these ads are currently running on Facebook for pressure washing, and most of these people are not getting any results. Um, if you're posting an ad like this, where it's a before and after, and you've got something short like this, you're not really going to get results. But for the sake of the video, let's go ahead and put this in here. Let's go over to the ad. Um, not only am I going to show you how to create a winning Facebook ad campaign, but I'm going to show you the mistakes people make along the way. So when you're at the ad over here, you might want to name this ad one. I usually name it ad, ad one image one, ad one video one, that sort of thing. But you go down here, you go down to media, set up your creative, select image ad, primary text. You're just going to paste in what you copied from the ads library, headline, same thing. Obviously, you're just going to make a change over here. But for this example, this is just what people do wrong. So for example, they might put the primary text there. They might put the headline over here, call to action, just send message next. They select an image of before and after like this. And then this is the full extent people go through for launching a Facebook ad. And this is why they're not profitable. Look, you're not going to be able to close clients if you're setting up Facebook ads like this. I'm going to show you right after this how to create a real profitable Facebook ad that's built for split testing to find you your winning ad. If you're launching ads like this, Facebook ads are not going to work. I get a lot of people that leave in my comments. Hey, I launched Facebook ads. It didn't work. My cost per lead is too high. It's because you're running them like this. So let me show you now the correct way to launch a Facebook ad. When you're doing your research on the ad library, there are tons of people launching pressure washing ads, but most of them are not really profitable. From what I found in my own experience launching ads for pressure washers for over two years now is that video ads work the best. So you're going to want to make sure you're good at video editing. You can download CapCut. It's a free video editing software on your computer, on Mac and Windows. You definitely want to make sure you've got a voiceover with your offer. You've got your pressure washing clips and you've got some captions going because you want to keep people engaged. So let's actually go set up this campaign real quick. Uh, let me go ahead and delete this last one we did because um, obviously we're not here to launch losing ads. We want to create winning ads. So let's start from complete scratch. What you're going to do is you're going to hit create, right? You're going to hit leads, sort of the same steps as before, manual leads campaign. And what you're going to call this is just pressure washing ads. Similar to the last one, this campaign level really isn't that important. But when you go down to the ad set, you're going to call this ad set one, copy one, right? And I suggest doing instant forms. We did on the last one, messenger. Now you can can do messenger but in my own experience the better leads come off the forms because they actually have to submit their name their email their city and phone number meaning they've got to do a couple extra steps which turns them into a more reliable lead right it's not just a tire kicker tire kickers aren't going to put their information on facebook they don't really want to talk to you so let's go down over here obviously you're going to select your page you're going to go down to the budget and instead of doing the 15 dollars a day like we did last time you're going to do five dollars a day because they're going to be running four ad sets and i'll explain that in a second so five dollars a day on the start date uh just make sure you change 
gauge this because this Facebook ad campaign might take you 15 minutes, might take you 20 minutes if you're new. So you're just gonna set this up for a time a little bit later. So in this case, let's set it for like 40 minutes later. I'm gonna go up at 4 p.m. You're gonna go down over here and then you're gonna select your city. So let me move myself out the way. We're gonna hit edit over here on United States. You always wanna make sure you're doing this because a lot of washers actually make that mistake where they leave United States on and then their whole ad gets shown all across the United States. You don't wanna do that. Don't waste your money. So let's go ahead and put in the city over here. I'm gonna put this right here and I'd recommend a radius of 20 miles. If you don't wanna do 25, that's fine. You can just change it right there. We're gonna do the same thing over here for the age. We're gonna keep this at 30. Go ahead and put this at 35 and then we'll put this at 55. We're gonna go down to placements and let's just leave advantage plus placements. So first things first, we're gonna go to the ad over here. Now we're gonna call this ad one image one, right? So this first one's gonna be an image and the next two are gonna be videos. So we're gonna scroll down over here. We're gonna go to media. We're gonna take this off, set up creative, add image. And then for primary text, let me go ahead and um, copy this over here. This is just one of the winning ads we have. I'm gonna paste this in here. Do the same thing with the headline. Just drag this one over here. Paste the headline. Description, same thing. We're gonna copy this. Paste over here and call to action. We're gonna set this as get quote. Next, then we're gonna select the image over here. So this is the image we used last time. Boom, boom. And as you can tell for this ad campaign, the image isn't gonna be the sole focus. This is just something to retarget the audience. So as soon as we do this, we have to scroll down at the bottom and we have to create a form. As you can see, I've got a form over here. And the way you create this form is just by scrolling down over here to where it says instant form. You're gonna create a form. You're just gonna name this form quote. You're gonna do more volume. You're gonna put in an intro. You're gonna select yes to the background, yes to the greeting. You're gonna upload a custom photo back here. I don't recommend using the ad image. Just put in something like five star pressure washing. You can edit it on Canva. The dimensions are right here if you need to edit it. You're gonna add in a greeting similar to what I did in the other form and it's pretty simple from there. For questions, you're just gonna add some categories. In this case, let's put in full name, let's put in email, let's put in phone number, and then let's put in city. You can also put address as well if you want to uh, look up their address before you call them up and have a quote already in mind. So after you're done with that, you're gonna do your privacy policy. Now, if you're gonna do a privacy policy, you need to have a website set up. Facebook does check these privacy policies and if you have a fake one they're not going to boost your ad in the algorithm so make sure before you launch this you have a privacy policy linked to your website and your website's in good standing okay so you're just going to upload the privacy policy link over here put in the link text and then put a message for the leads thank you you're all set you can visit our website or exit the form obviously change that you don't want to put the default text but i'll show you my form quote real quick right so this is the greeting with the background image we use this is what we ask them full name email city phone number privacy policy and then this is the uh, end message right and they can call them right there. So as soon as you set up your quote, your form quote, that's the last thing you need to do. And then it's pretty simple from there. What you're going to do as soon as you finish that is you're going to go to add one image one, click the three dots over here and click quickly duplicate. So you're going to duplicate this and you're going to rename this video one. So the only thing you're going to do over here is just remove the media, click add media and then add video. Now for this, again, you want to make sure that you're getting good at video editing. So I'd recommend using CapCut. Um, I'm not going to do a tutorial in this video on how to make this specific ad, but I can give you some quick tips for the future when I do make this video, you want to make sure you create a folder for all of your B-roll clips from pressure washing, import all of the videos in there, then put them in the timeline, speed them up, take out the audio and just use a voiceover. I'd recommend just recording the voiceover yourself. I'll play this really quickly so you can hear it. Hey guys, Alex here with Inlet Pressure Washing. We're out in Myrtle Beach today, soft washing a home for one of our local clients. Soft washing is perfect for removing dirt, algae and mold from siding, roofs and other delicate surfaces without causing any damage. During Thanksgiving, we ran this promotion and helped Myrtle Beach. All right, so I'm not going to play the entire thing, but you kind of get the point. Just import your clips over here. Go ahead, import your voiceover with the offer, add in some special effects, add in some transitions, and then for captions, you're just going to go up here to the top, click generate captions, and it's going to generate the captions over here for you. But what you're going to want to do is create two video ads, right? So let's go back over here, click next. Let's click the first ad over here. This is one that we created for our client. You're going to select recommended, 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 because when you're doing advantage plus placements, this one's actually going to show in the Instagram stories and the Facebook stories and the Instagram reels and the Facebook reels and the video ads are perfectly optimized for that. I also want to mention when you're doing this in CapCut, make sure it's nine by 16, which is the dimensions used on Instagram and Facebook the long way, right? You want to make sure that it fits over there. Now, after you do this, you just click next, click done, and then it's going to upload your video over here. Now, once this slider gets to about halfway, there's like a weird glitch with Facebook where it just takes forever to process. So as soon as you get it, you see it past halfway, you're just going to refresh the screen, select reload, and then it's going to be up there and done. All right. So now we've got our video.
video over here. Now we're going to do the second video. So to do that, we're just going to quickly duplicate on video one and we're going to call this video two. Okay. Now that we have video two, we're going to select the media over here, change video, go down to media on the left, and then we're going to hit the second video over here. We're going to click next and do the same exact steps. Recommended, 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 next, done. And the same thing. Once the slider bar gets around halfway, we're going to refresh the screen. That way it uploads perfectly. All right. So now that it's refreshed, we're good to go. Now you might see on this side of the screen that there's some errors over here. That's just the phone number issue with the ad account. Don't really worry about that. You're not going to have that. But as soon as you finish up with this first ad set, you're going to quickly duplicate the entire thing. So to break this down from earlier in the video, when we were creating the ad set, you saw that I put a $5 a day budget on it. We're going to be launching four of these ad sets. And the only thing that's going to be different is just the ad copy, which is the primary text over here, right? The actual text that we put over here, we're going to do four different variations. And while we're launching these ads, everything else is going to stay the same. The videos are going to stay the same. The targeting is going to stay the same. The Facebook page is going to stay the same. Everything is going to stay the same. The only thing that's different is the actual ad text. So as soon as we do this, we're going to quickly duplicate this at the top. And then we're going to call this ad set two, copy two. All right. Now for this uh, tutorial, I'm not going to provide the ad copies that we use because we use this for our paying clients because we do set up the Facebook ads. We do set up the website, the software for you. But um, in this case, I might use something like ChatGPT to create the primary text for you that could give you a little bit of help to uh, split test your copywriting. The only thing you want to test out on Facebook is just the copywriting, which is the ad text over here. Now, when it comes to launching future campaigns, you can obviously test different things. You can test different videos. You can test different targeting. But if you're split testing different items, I recommend sticking to one at a time. You don't want to change your videos and change your text. If you're going to change something, just change one thing. That way you know what's working and what's not. So from here, it's pretty basic. After you duplicate this and you change this primary text, let's just say ad text number two. What I recommend doing if you're on chat GBT, um, just take your first primary text, put that in there, then say, I need four different variations, make one small, make one long, make one testimonial focused, make one pain point focus for the homeowner. Just have four different pieces of ad text, then paste each one into these. So after you do the first one over here, where you paste the ad text, you're going to copy everything, go into each ad over here, then just paste it. You're going to want to make sure you paste it into primary text. And I mean, it's pretty straightforward from there. As you can see, I already quickly duplicated it again. In this case, we're going to do ad set three, copy three and you're just going to want to do this four times. Now, the way you're going to manage this campaign throughout the weeks is you're going to let this run for about three days, right? So about 36 hours, and you're going to see which campaigns are performing the best, which one of these 12 ads is performing the best. If you've got some that are going over seven to $10 cost per lead, maybe cut them after the first three days. But usually when you launch 12 ads with this format over here, you should be able to find one winning ad that's going to be getting you leads for $5 a lead, $6 a lead, $7 per lead. It's what helped us get these high performance performing ads over here. Like I showed you before, you can see this message from Facebook, high performing. That's exactly what you want to see, right? And this client over here, 250 leads. He's a 19 year old kid from Florida. He's already hit 10 K per month pressure washing just with these Facebook ads alone. So finally, after you do all four ad sets over here, all you're going to click is publish over here. Give Facebook about 30 minutes to approve the ad. They usually always do with this same format that we do. It's going to go ahead, publish the campaign. And all you're going to do to manage it is you're going to go, you're going to be over here by campaigns. You're going to make sure your campaign over here is ticked off. Then you're going to go to ads and you're going to sort it by the date. So let's just say in this case, you can do it by today, by yesterday, by last week, last two weeks, but let's just say maximum. And what you're going to see over here, you're just going to look for results. So let me actually open up a campaign right now, open up this one, go to the ads. So with that one, it's going to show you all of the leads you have. And you can see that we have this one video over here that's gotten 207 leads cost per lead at $21. And you can see that this one's performing, but you can see on the rest of these, like some of these over here, we actually cut them because they weren't at the cost per lead that we wanted. Let me just show you the charts for this lead. Anyways, you can see we've gotten a bunch of leads. And on this day specifically, I want to take a look on October 11th, he was able to get seven leads in one day. And I made a video on this a couple days ago on December 24th, Christmas Eve, he also got five leads in one day. If you guys want to launch profitable Facebook ads, just follow this tutorial. But if you want someone to help you set it up, go ahead and book a call with me in my bio, leave any questions about Facebook ads down there. Hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you on the next one.